This is Joseph Rohn of A Fool for Learning, and our Foolish Thought training tip for today is Translation Slide Space. About four months ago or so, I attended a webinar in e-learning, and one of the topics which was discussed was the translation from English into other languages. In the past, I've talked about translating learning into other languages. For example, do you use a professional translation service or do you use the guy down the hall who speaks the language? And that, of course, will all depend upon such factors as the budget, organizational culture, is it for internal or external use, etc. And the other question I posed at that time was, which language version was to be used? And for example, if you need to translate the online learning or any learning, let's say into Portuguese, do you use the Portuguese language from Portugal or do you use Brazilian Portuguese? Now, the presenter for the webinar, which I attended, talked about the use of language space on the screen. In other words, if the audio is then broadcast on the screen, the text is put on the screen, how much space does that take up? Normally, he explained that he works primarily in English, but there have been several times when the learning needed to be presented in either French or German. So what happens to the amount of space taken up by that language on the screen? According to the presenter, it may take an additional 30% more screen space when using French, German, or other languages. To be honest, I had never thought about that. It never crossed my mind that when translating from English into another language, that it would take up more space. In addition, one of the points raised is what happens when you have a language that reads from left to right, such as English, and then you need to translate it to a language that reads right to left or up and down. Does this take up more space? How does this change your slide layout. Although I have not had to deal with these issues, these are some things that you need to keep in mind when designing e-learning in languages other than English. Hopefully, I've given you something to think about. And if you learned something from this podcast, please take a moment to like, comment, and or subscribe. To learn more about A Fool for Learning and how I can assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn, perform, succeed.